So this summer, we spent 24 days in the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It was amazing. Yes, we've, we've fallen in love with Michigan, especially yeah. the UP. We are definitely going back the first chance we get and probably won't be all that far away. A great place to spend the summer. We, we were truly chasing that 7 degree weather. Yes, and even with us having been there as long as we were, we did not see any, by any means, everything there was to see. That's right. One thing that amazed me is that there's 300 waterfalls in the state of Michigan and 299 of them are in the UP. You know we love chasing waterfalls and we want to show you a particular day where we got to track down four waterfalls. Yep, let's get to it. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on. But they don't actually have any we're at Laughing Whitefish State Park. Yep, there's the Laughing Whitefish Falls here that we're gonna go hike to. It's one of many things we have in store for today. It does require a pass, but we got our Michigan State Park pass, so we don't yep. have to worry about that. And we were trying to count, we think this is the third or fourth park we've been in, so it's made us money on the fourth. It's $10 a day for a daily pass. Are thirty-six dollars for a yearly this, pass. For yearly, and this is non-residents. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. There is a spur off to the North Country Trail and it uh, I did see a sign on it. it goes from New York the eastern part of northern New York all the way to South Dakota so if you're into long hikes this might be one to do in the summer we got everything here at least to stay alive and the time that we share makes it all worthwhile got this place Do not miss the Laughing Whitefish Falls. It's a little out of your way, so you're gonna have to uh, make a point to be here. You're not gonna happen by it, but it is well worth the drive. It's beautiful falls. The trail is really nice, and as you saw, there's a boardwalk with steps that go 
all the way down to the falls, to the bottom. The only problem is getting back up, which will put you out of breath for sure. But this is a must see if you're in the upper peninsula in the middle part of the state. This is Wagner Falls mm -hmm. that we're going to now. And other than that, I don't remember anything else about it. But we're definitely going to see it, we hope. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. So this is another really, really pretty must-see waterfalls in the UP. It's about a 30-foot cascading waterfalls. It's really pretty. The trail is totally clear on the way to it, so no problems getting there or back. Oh, if you have the will and the moment to spare. So now we're at Munsing Falls. Yep, wanna hit our third falls of the day. And, and uh, it's only 12.44, so we're doing pretty good. Some we're good proud time. of ourselves. <laughs> and this is a short uh, four tenths of a mile walk. It's, uh, as I read, mostly paved. So far it's been all paved. And we, uh, we're going to the lower falls and then there is some stairs up to the upper uh, to see the falls from the top. Yeah, we're going there too, right? So, yeah. Yep. This is, uh, I can't remember how tall of a falls it is. I think but we'll it was 25 it. foot, wasn't it? Close to, yeah, I don't know. I, I think remember. it was 25 foot. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so We just had a first. Yeah, first of all, it's a trail. This is a trail here on Munzing Fall that you will see several, a lot of people. But Lynn had a first. You want to tell them about it, Lynn? This little boy, I'll tell you about it. This, this little boy comes up to me and he wants to pet my dog. And I said, sure. So I let him pet my dog. And then we turn around and walk away. And he goes, you sound like a farmer. I said, it's it from Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, from Tennessee, and he equated my accent with a farmer. We're in Pitchard Rock National um, Lake Shore. Lake Shore. And the bad, really bad news is the fog has rolled in off of Lake Superior. Yeah, we were going to catch, uh, we just did uh, Mungsing Falls, and now we're at Miner's Castle, and we're then going to Miner's Falls, but here, at, uh, right here on the Superior. Look at that green water. What beautiful it's water. It's beautiful water, but you can't see very much. But uh, we're in between overlooks, but we saw this spot where you could see. Hopefully you can see a little bit of it on the, in the video. So as you can tell, the fog has rolled into Miner's Castle to the whole shoreline here. We now made it over to Miner's Beach. Uh, we hope to get back to the castle at some point to show you. Maybe it'll be from our boat cruise. We'll see it from the water or we'll get back uh, maybe on a clearer day if we get time. Yeah, right now we're at the beach and you can't see any more from the beach than you could see from the castle. So, but it is still beautiful and we'll show you yeah. what we can see. As you can see, the uh, one of the outfitters have their kayaks here, their tandem kayaks. 
Uh, we did look up uh, cost of it. We're not gonna do it. You know, no, I'm glad we're not with the fog. But uh, it's about $139 for a half day and about $159 for a full day for uh, two people in the kayak. This is our last hike of the day. Miner's Falls. Should be quick and easy. And Bella is so dirty and so ready to be done. Just walked down to Miner's Fall, and let me tell you, this is a definite must do when you come to, where are we? <laughs> where are we? We're near Munsing. Yeah, but now the name of the oh, park. Yeah. Uh... We go so many places, I can't remember. Where are Wait, we? Sure. Where is it though? He doesn't remember either, <laughs> that's the funny thing. Okay. We'll do it again. If you come to Pitchard Rock National Lakeshore, put this one on your list. This is the most beautiful falls we have seen today. It's called Miner's Fall. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall. It's probably 100, 100 plus feet. It's amazing. Easy six tenths there, six tenths back hike. Uh huh. So it's easy hike, but a few steps down to the falls. The guy at the top said it was 64. Yeah, and they, they didn't bother you on the way down, but on the way yeah, up. Yeah, on the way up is when it's gonna take your breath away. But it was but the <clears throat> but the miners falls will take your breath away too. It's yeah, beautiful. it it was absolutely amazing. Just a beautiful falls. And I'm sure it helped that we had a lot of rain yesterday. And so there was probably a lot of excess water coming down them, but they were really, well, you just judge for yourself. So be sure you come back next week when we take you all around Pitchard Rock National Lakeshore. There's just so much to explore in the Upper Peninsula. You don't wanna miss it. And before you take off, be sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.